What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning back in. Welcome to another video. Last video, I went to Salvo's, I had to get some extra parts for a supporting mod for the Nova. I told you I was gonna do that and that's what I'm gonna do. And I need to apologize for the really crappy lighting in my garage. I have yet to get that fixed. And the only thing that's gonna make that worse is that it is, if you can see out my door, rainy and gloomy again. It's been absolutely horrible. Like the whole summer has been nothing but rain and misery and no time to drive the car, which, you know, really sucks. But the new motor, like I said, is so close that I need to start doing supporting mods to get it ready. And I've been sitting on a few of these things for quite some time. And with it being close, now would be a good time to do that. Now, that being said, this car has power brakes. There's my brake booster. Um, believe it or not, it is power drums, which is kind of weird to have power drums. But there they are. I will convert that soon. And with the new motor having a much larger cam, it's going to pull a lot more vacuum. So I'm going to need this vacuum canister or vacuum reservoir, some like to call it tomato tomato but this is going to help with my vacuum problem with the new cam pulling with the new cam pulling that much more vacuum those brakes are not going to like it too much so obviously something's got to be done and this is the solution I got this one from Jigs a while back it's pretty cheap it's like $30 um, like I said I had it for a while I've been sitting on it for just the right time um, with these Novas, I found the perfect place to put it is going to be right here on the side of the radiator, on the driver's side. Um, I already pre-drilled some holes to make this go a little bit smoother. There is the 3 8 line that we're going to use for it. The plastic check valve on top, let's see if we can get this thing, there you go, there's the focus. All right, the plastic check valve on top is going to run all the way around to the back of the intake manifold back there, which now currently runs to the brake booster. So we're going to remove this, run the new line from the intake inside the fender well, and out through here. Try to make a nice clean install, which will drop right there to the canister there so that's the plan try to get started She's not going anywhere. Again, sorry for the poor lighting. This is really horrible. I feel horrible for the uh, the lighting. But that's on there. Now I have to get the line. There we go. We'll do a drop light back there. How's that? Is that a little bit better? I want to do another video when we try and get to probably set up your garage and people can see what the hell you're doing. All right. So I'm gonna do first before I do that is grab. The three ace line, and I'm gonna feed it right through here. Which now you can see I've got through the other side there. Nice clean run. Try to tuck it under and behind as much stuff as we can. Just, I like to have a clean look and a clean install when I do things. I don't want to have it look all messy. Probably help if I took the air cleaner off. Just 
cut that off since I'm not going to be using that anymore. Or this for that matter. I'm going to spray just a dash of lube in here. Help things slip on a little better. Alright, so with that vacuum line hooked up, route it behind the booster, through the fender, and coming out here, now I'm just going to cut it. Snip off the access, and stick that in into your plastic check valve. One done. The other gonna be the same exact thing. I'm going to fish this through. Alright, sorry about that. This was just fighting me a bit trying to fish it through the fender, which I finally got it. Brought it up over, brought it up over the booster, down into the plastic check valve there. So now it is actually the complete install. It is that simple. Line from the intake, through the fender, around the back of the booster, to, to the vacuum port on the intake manifold. One from the booster, I put through the fender, and to the brass fitting. Each line gets its own little plastic check valve. One there, one there, and that's it. So pretty simple install. Sorry again for the lighting. I know it's absolutely horrible. I gotta get some better lights in this garage. But if you got a cam that's too big, you got too much lift, it pulls too much vacuum, obviously you know engines run off vacuum. And if you don't have enough, something's gonna have to suffer and normally it is your brakes. So brakes are no good. They'll be happy with the new motor, the new cam. Probably one of the last couple times you'll see this engine in here. That's gonna go, so now, supporting mod number one. As a matter of fact, I think it's pretty much the only supporting mod I'll need. So if you've got a cam in your car, you don't think the brakes are working too good, try a vacuum caster. Odds are that's probably what it is. Your cam's pulling too much vacuum, your brakes aren't working. Simple install, simple fix, 30 some bucks, add a couple of dollars for, you know, three ace line. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.